Hey everybody, it's Scott. I wanted to go over the export options out of the new iMovie on the iPhone. It's real important that we understand the export size that you choose and the impact it has on your video. Now the first thing we want to do is let's review what the export size options are. In iMovie you have three sizes you can export. You can export at a medium size, which they consider to be 640 by 360. You can choose a large size, which is 960 by 540. Or you can choose the HD size, which is 1280 by 720p. Now what's going to happen though is that if you try to wirelessly upload these to YouTube, people are finding that they just look like crap. So there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. Okay, so here's an example I shot the other day. This is the medium size output at 360p. And I want you to take a look okay, at the, so text the text right it's down here. Do it's very crisp, it's very clean, I'm it's the, easy to read. And I'm going to... Now, what we have here is the large export and what you're going to see is that the text, while okay, still so readable, it's starting to, to break up together. just a little bit. And finally, what we have here is the HD output that I that I uh, loaded up. Okay, so and you're going to see there's complete to breakup to of all the text. So you, you can't even read this, and, and quite frankly, it just looks like crap. Several of the different formats. So really what we're talking about here is that you're going to get better looking output if you choose the medium size 640 by 360 output for your iMovie videos. But how does it compare to YouTube and how does it look on YouTube compared to some of the other delivery mechanisms? Here's a video, the exact same video that I uploaded to YouTube and one that I uploaded to my Dropbox account. Now, what you're going to see on the YouTube side is that it's a little fuzzy where the image in the Dropbox is real sharp. And finally, when we go to play it, here's the difference in the quality. Notice the text in the lower left-hand corner. And you get a little bit more nicer contrast over here on the right. So there you have it. It really does make more sense to export your videos in the medium size format. Besides, the other added benefit to all this is that most blogs can't handle a larger video than that. So I encourage you to go ahead, be okay with exporting it in the medium size setting, and I think you're gonna be quite pleased with the results.